Welcome. This is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. Do you have days where you just cannot feel that creativity? I'm going to give you an idea for working through that challenge with a block with just three lines and an arc and a way to set that block in a quilt. On the home screen, select Design a Block from Scratch. Select a new block pieced Easy Draw Block. In the Precision Toolbar, change the width and height to 3x3, three three, and under Snapping Options, make sure that every one is turned off. Select the Line tool, and we're going to start by drawing three random lines. I suggest no 45 degree angles and no parallel lines. We want them to look very random. Each of the lines has two nodes, one at a starting point and one at the ending point. Make sure those nodes either cross another line or they connect to the edge of the block. Select the color tab which will cut off any extra lines. Go back to draw and make sure that we have three lines. If desired, you could turn on one of the snapping options, such as Snap to Node, and then somewhere in the block, draw an arc. Use the space bar on your keyboard to change the direction of the arc. Select the Color tab and color your block. I am using two different Northcott collections, one called Turtle Bay and the other called Shimmer Radiance. Select Add to Project mm -hmm. Sketchbook and select the Quilt Work Table and select a new quilt horizontal. Select the Layout tab and change the number of blocks to 4x4 four four and the width and the height to 9x9. Nine nine. Select the Borders tab and make the border a mitered and let's just set the size at 0.5, essentially creating a binding. Select Design and Set Block and select our asymmetrical block with the three lines and an arc and with the controller command key select one of the blocks spaces on the quilt. With the fabric tools go ahead and color the binding and hide show quilt patch lines and add to project sketchbook. Mm -hmm. Under Block Tools, select Symmetry and click on one of the blocks. If you like the symmetry variation, select Add to Project Sketchbook. Continue clicking on one of the blocks for additional symmetry variations. Everything that you love, go ahead and select Add to Project Sketchbook. Typically, you can see 16 different variations if you have a truly asymmetrical block to start. You may find that there are numerous designs that you don't like, but that's okay. One way to add some additional options is to select Fabric Tools and select a different fabric, and with the Alt or Options key, recolor just one patch in the alternate blocks. Select Block Tools Symmetry and click on one of the blocks to again addition some different symmetry options. For any that you like, select Add to Project Sketchbook. I think you're going to be amazed both at the quality and the quantity of quilts that you can design in a short period of time. And if you're not liking your quilts, go back and create a new block with three lines and an arc and try again. Thanks so much for watching. I am looking forward to seeing your three lines and an arc block and quilts.